Coop Jardine, a standout point guard at Syracuse University by way of Philadelphia's Newman Garetti High School. Look at that. Jardine and Mello. Defending Jardine. Oh, that's just that's pretty. In the 1960s, there was another point guard in the streets of South Philly making his bones. Scoop Jardine, he refers to him as Pop Pop. South Philly, who referred to him as Isaiah Bunny Wilson. This is Isaiah Bunny Wilson. Many people know me as Scoop Jardine's grandfather, but I played basketball too. So I got cut. In junior high school, I got cut my sophomore year in high school. I got cut my junior year in high school. Then my senior year, I made the varsity by default. They just put me on the team because they had another uniform for me to wear. Then Coach Escher, which was my high school coach, put me on the team because I kept hanging around. So those guys that get cut all the time, don't just leave the gym, stay there. I played at Southern, which I was like a six man. I averaged 13 points a game at Southern. He told another coach that I was a good player. He told Coach Paul Baker, which was then the late Paul Baker, which was the coach of the University of Baltimore, one of my very dearest friends. I got down to the University of Baltimore. I guess it was luck, but it was just the way things fell, you know, because it was also Earl Monroe's rookie year with the Baltimore Bullets. So I got a chance to really pattern my game a lot after Earl. I really uh, learned a lot watching Earl, and then when I had the opportunity to talk and play with him, he taught me how to work on my game. And that's when the improvement really started. My freshman year, I averaged 25 points a game. My sophomore year, I did the same. Then my junior year, that's when my game really evolved, because I spent that whole summer up at Bob Cousy's camp, where I really honed my game. My senior year, I, I, I made All-American, and, and um, I averaged 29. I was the third leading scorer in the country my junior year. Pistol Pete Maravich, the late Pistol Pete Maravich, was the leading scorer in the country. And Calvin Murphy, which is an announcer for the Houston Rockets today, was the second leading scorer in the country. And South Philly's own Isaiah Bunny Wilson was the third leading scorer in the country. Both my junior and senior year, I was a uh, second team All-American. After my senior year in college, I was lucky enough to get a call from Sunny Hill in the Baker League. I improved a lot that summer by playing on Sunny Hill's team and playing with the late Claude Gross, who was a very dear friend of mine. Isaiah Bunny Wilson, great talent. There are very few players that I know of that have as much God-given all-around talent as Isaiah Bunny Wilson. We got a good thing, milk it. Milk the good thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, bunny! Step in there, bunny! Come on, bunny! Run, run, Kenneth! Let's go. The option, the option. That's it, that's it, bunny! 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 What else, bunny? Well, I guess that's the way to play ball. Go ahead, bunny, go ahead, bunny! Go ahead, bunny! Shoot it! Bunny! He comes to play. The man has so much. So much dedication, desire to play and want to win that makes him the ball player that he is. You have great talent, man. You just have great talent. I was the second player picked by the Pistons in 1971. I was drafted and had the opportunity to play with Hall of Famer Dave Bing, Bob Lanier, Jalen Rose's father, Jimmy Walker, and ex Philadelphia 76 er Steve Mix was also on the team. Some of the things that I achieved that came to me later in my career, even after retirement. I received the Markwood Award here in Philadelphia. I was elected to the South Philadelphia High School Hall of Fame. I was elected to the Hall of Fame at the University of Baltimore. This is Isaiah Bunny Wilson signing off with the All City Classic, Bridging the Gap, Know Your History.
God has given you some of the greatest talent that has ever been bestowed upon a man your size.